want the wolf cut? It's time to find out more about it in this video. Hey, welcome to the Touch Up Salon channel. I'm Anthony at Model Makers Hair. And if you wanna find out more about the wolf cut, you've come to the right place. So the first question everybody asks is, what the heck is a wolf cut? And in my opinion, it's just another name for the modern shag. I get it, you don't wanna have your grandma's haircut. You want something new and spectacular and that's what TikTok's for. So now we're gonna find out, can you wear a wolf cut? Okay, so let's describe the wolf cut for all of you. It's gonna be a light, airy, layered style. It's gonna be opened up in the face, it can be a variety of lengths, and it's gonna have height and movement on top. You'll see a lot of this on Instagram. Right now, it's very popular among celebrities. It's got a lot of movement, it's got a lot of texture, and that's what makes it so much fun, so I love it. First question is, who can wear it? Like, what textures does Wolf Cut work on? Well, let's start with fine hair girls. Fine hair girls, I'm gonna say, probably sorry. Unless you have a lot of density, it's gonna be really difficult for you to wear a Wolf Cut. It's gonna be a little too thin on the ends and not really have the strength and texture that we need it to in order to accentuate your best feature in your hair. For medium people that have a slightly thicker hair shaft or higher density, it works amazing, especially if you've got some wave. You know, you can style it curly, naturally curly, even straight with some texturizing products and blow it out with like dry texturizer. And you're gonna get a lot of fun movement in that cut. And that's gonna give you the look that you're looking for. Now, for those of you with dense hair, if you've got dense waves, it works great as well. The layering all over the shape removes the weight out of your hair so you don't have to be so hot all the time. It increases the movement of your hair so it's more fun and it really makes for a great styling experience. Curly girls, this is where I would caution you. So if you have like a 3A curl, it's a ringlet, but it's not a super tight ringlet, you could probably go with the wolf cut. It's gonna be a little bit more high and wide than what you might see on Instagram with the people that are curling their hair or on TikTok that are using beach waving style, but it can still look really cool. There's some retro looks out there and this definitely fits well into that. Now for really curly girls, I would not recommend this. If your hair is a tight spiral, it's just gonna be an afro with a tail and that's not really what we're looking for. Definitely look into some other videos we've got on our channel about how you wear your natural hair and that's gonna give you better ideas as to styles that would suit you better. So what length should I wear it? I would say traditionally, even though this cut is brand new and this style is brand new, collarbone and above work really well. They allow us to open up the face, open up the neckline, open up the shoulders, and have a lot of movement above. It can be worn longer. Caution there is that it can look like a mullet. So if you're into that mullety vibe, then it's probably perfect for you. But if you don't wanna have all of your hair sitting behind your shoulders and these short layers on the front, then you might wanna stick with something that's a little bit shorter. One way to make an adjustment if you wanna wear it really long is to go a lesser aggressive with the layering. If you're layering really short up here and your hair is really long down here, it's gonna be a mullet, I don't, a waterfall shag, whatever you wanna call it these days. But if we bring these layers down a little bit more, then you can have that cascading layer effect that is so sexy and so fun without the threat of it becoming a little bit too aggressive for your personal taste. All right, let's talk about face shapes. First, we're gonna start with a round face shape. So this is where your cheeks and your jawline are gonna be the widest parts of your face and everything's soft around the edges. We're gonna wanna close that space down. I know that some round face girls don't mind their round faces, but for most people, the optimal is to close that down. So that means layering is gonna start down here below the chin line. That's gonna allow you to slim the sides of the face and then you can build volume up and then you're gonna get the best of both worlds. It's gonna make your face look smaller and slimmer, which is always the ideal that we're looking for. Now, square shaped faces, you're gonna be in the same boat. At the end of the day, we're trying to slim the side of the face, we're trying to soften the jawline so that it's not too much face uh, showing through the haircut. Uh, I love to do soft fringy bangs to close down the corners and then carry that into some length and then pump that volume up as much as we can. Depending on your hair texture, you might not be able to get a lot of height, but that's okay. Shorter layering on top will build weight in this corner, and that's always ideal. Okay, so you oval people, you can do what you normally do, which is anything you want, just depending on your hair texture. So find a length, find a style that you really like, bring it to your stylist, have them execute it, and you're gonna look amazing, you know? Put it on Pinterest so we can all go, man, I wish I looked like that. And that's what we're looking for from you, you ovals. Oblong. 
It's sort of a rectangle, it's sort of an oval. It's softer in the corner, it's a longer face shape. We definitely wanna close down some of that with some bangs would be ideal. And then opening up that bottom jawline will work well for you as well because it's gonna build volume on the sides of your face, which we wanna expand when you're very, very slim. So remember, if you're wide in the face, you wanna slim it down with the hair. If you're slim in the face, you wanna widen it with the hair. It's real simple rules, but I'm gonna keep telling you guys until everybody finds their perfect hair. Okay, rectangle. Just like round with squares, you're the same as the oblong. You're still gonna wanna add width to the hair with the layering and maybe close down the top if your hairline will allow you to with some bangs. That'll really make this a great cut for you. It adds a lot of fun and uh, flirty texture to the hair and it just looks amazing. Be careful about going too long in the front because it can drag you down and slim that face. So you're gonna wanna be aware of that. And the same thing goes with the layers might be there but your styling might not. So make sure that your styling allows the width to sit right next to your cheekbones. That's where you're looking for it as well. Okay, heart-shaped faces. You got a smaller chin and you got a bigger forehead. Also called inverted triangles, things like that. Definitely wear this with bangs, okay? It's a great cut for bangs with a heart-shaped face because it, the layering is gonna allow you to open this space up, which is what we're looking for. We're gonna be opening up your narrow chin and the bangs are gonna allow you to soften the forehead in the pictures so that you don't feel totally exposed on the forehead side. Um, I know for a lot of you, that's a big concern is that you feel like you've got a giant forehead. You probably don't, but I know that you think that you do. And so some bangs matched with opening up the face framing layers is gonna work really, really well for you. Okay, triangular face shapes. Just take the inverted triangle, flip it upside down. I've got a wide jawline, I've got a narrow forehead. I wouldn't generally recommend bangs uh, for this look. I would leave it open and just side part it or something. And then I would slim the face with longer face framing layers. That's gonna work best for you. Build the volume on the opposite and it's gonna look amazing. Okay, diamonds. You're gonna wanna basically treat this like a heart-shaped face, except for we're gonna want those face framing layers to come below the cheek line because we wanna just soften those really angular cheekbones of yours. Again, we're gonna wanna open up the lower part of the face and then you'll be good to go. So I like this a lot with like curtain style fringe that fringe around the side and then opening up here. Looks amazing, go for it. Now, what about styling? How should I do this? Like I'm looking for low maintenance and I don't know what low maintenance actually means in 2021. Okay, low maintenance means getting a curl routine. So if you have wavy or curly hair and you wanna enhance it, go research the curly girl method, watch our uh, YouTube video about how to do your natural hair texture. It's a completely different experience than when you're gonna hot tool or style your hair with a blow dryer, but at the same time, it's gonna provide a lot of value to you in the long term because in a market like ours in Phoenix, in the summer, there's nothing worse than hot tool styling when it's already 120 degrees outside. The hair just gets its butt kicked and we don't really wanna do that. If you can figure out your curly girl routine and you can get your natural waves or natural curls enhanced, that's probably the lowest maintenance, easiest, healthiest way for you to wear this style. However, for a lot of you fine textured girls, I know I was saying you shouldn't do this, you can enhance your hair with the volumizing products, texturizing dust, dry texturizer, a good heat protectant, and wear it waved with a curling iron. That's what you see most of the time when you're looking on uh, Instagram, TikTok, something like that. They're gonna be a one quarter to one and a half inch barreled curling iron and they're gonna be doing that to create a wave look. That's gonna enhance and expand the texture. Usually they're gonna use some sort of hairspray or dry shampoo or something to keep that texture out there. And that's gonna be a great way to wear this style. It's gonna be the most popular way to wear this style. Your friends are gonna go, wow, your hair's so cute. It looks just like this picture I saw on the internet. And you're gonna be like, yeah, I know. Um, and that's what we love, okay? We want you to go out, get compliments, feel confident in your hair. So using that hot tool is great. However, using a hot tool every single day to style your hair is a terrible thing for your hair. Please don't do that. You will fry your ends, you will get split ends and your hair will feel drier than a haystack. Okay, so be aware that if you have to style your hair, you need to figure out how to wash it no more than every two or three days. That way you're limiting, limiting your styling time to two, maybe three days a week. Okay, I know that's like totally anathema for some of you guys. You're freaking out. You're like, I gotta wash my hair every day. You don't, but you're probably gonna have to get used to your hair being greasy first. You can do it. I believe in you. If you need help, leave a question below and I'll do my very best. I know it's an issue a lot of my clients have, but I know you can do it. That's why they made dry shampoo. Okay, last but not least, I'm just gonna highlight a couple of products I really like. We just talked about a heat protectant, Mellow Hair Shield by Davines. 
that's my favorite up to 450 not a real feel in the hair works really really well um, spray it all over when your hair is wet blow dry it in curl it you're good to go the second one's going to be dry texturizer it's best for you out there with uh, fine to medium texture it's going to allow you to fluff it out and make it bigger and make it more fun it's very very dry feeling in the hair so if you like your hair to feel silky and soft it's not going to be that at all but it's a mixture of what i would say is like a hairspray and a sea salt spray and you just spritz it in and the hair goes ah and gets big and will usually stay big it's very popular amongst my stylists who are fine textured because it allows them to fluff their hair out and have it look like they've got twice as much hair as they actually do without the extensions they're going to be wearing and it just looks really nice so it's easy to use and it's fun to put in your hair and then finally i really like invisible serum this is a weird little tiny tube product it's a satin finish so if you have the medium to heavy textured hair it allows you to run it through after you've done your styling and just get that real like hollywood finish on the hair you know it pieces out those ends so nice and it gives it a nice soft gloss i'm a proponent of healthy hair is shiny hair so if your hair looks super dry it might look cool in style but it doesn't look healthy and i like healthy looking hair so the invisible serum gives me that all right I hope this video was super helpful for you that want to wear the wolf cut. Ow! You can and you should follow the guidelines in this video, take them to your stylist, get this haircut, send me pictures at Model Makers Hair on Instagram, and I want to see them. I want to see your successes. I love beautiful hair on all y'all. Now, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we're putting out videos all the time about what the latest trends are, what you should do if you want them, and who they work best on. Slap a like on this video because it helps me out knowing that you guys love these videos and that you want to see more of them. So I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. God bless and peace.